friends, Nina here from Nina Hendrick Home, and today I'm gonna to share a room that has been several years in the making, our family room. If you're new here, welcome, and I'd love to invite you to hit that subscribe button plus the alert icon so that you know whenever I release a new video related to all things home. We have a ton of new content coming your way within the next few months, plus a big surprise, and no, it's not another baby. Everybody guesses that, but we're all done having babies. Today I want to take you on a tour of our cottage style family room. It's been a long road to get to where we are today, mostly because as I shared in the project intro video, I started without a plan. Luckily, now it all came together beautifully and I'm so happy with the end result. Before the room had yellow walls and a yellow ceiling with dark wood beams that were not in the best shape. Plus we had the puffy leather furniture from Mac's previous man cave as our only living room furniture. Over the years, we chipped away at projects, redoing the fireplace, and later adding built-ins. We also were losing a lot of heat in the winter from the room, so we took the opportunity to add insulation to the ceiling and then cover that with tongue and groove. Then we wrapped the beams in fresh white trim. Recently, after the knots began to bleed through the wood, we had everything professionally sealed and repainted, and we also took the opportunity to finish off the room by adding a board and batten feature wall treatment. Along with the natural and neutral decor, it tied the room together perfectly. I love this room so much and I can't get enough of it. So let's go over some of the details of the room. All of the white is Benjamin Moore Simply White in Satin. I normally go with a semi-gloss, but I really love the way that the satin looks and I'm definitely gonna keep that in mind for the future. The grayish color on the walls is Benjamin Moore Balboa Mist lightened by 50%. It is the perfect light neutral for this room. I love the way that it breaks up all of the white and I think it's the perfect compromise in this space. I recently refinished the mantle because it had gotten a bit beaten up over the years and there was some orange showing through. I used a custom stain color to match the shelves and island in the kitchen and I'll make sure to add that custom mix to the description below. We mostly used furniture and accessories we already had, but I did add two new chairs to the room that were a perfect dupe of a very expensive version that was not within the realm of possibility. Again, I'll add those sources to the description below. I also added replacement slipcovers to our PB Comfort sofas. I didn't think the off-white that was on there originally would play nice with all of the white trim, but I love the contrast of the blue-gray of the new slipcovers. We also added a custom ottoman from Serena and Lily. Because it was custom and because of the year, it took a little while to get here, but we love having a soft surface to put our feet up on and get comfortable instead of having a hard coffee table. The tray, which was a target find, makes corralling any items we may need to have close by super easy. I always get a lot of questions about our mirror. Again, it's no longer available, but I did find a similar source. It's called a Louis Philippe mirror if you wanna go on your own hunt for one. A lot of the decor are items that I already had, but I did add a few new things from Etsy. The duck decoys and the chippy wooden oars were both vintage finds that I love how much character they add to the space. The grape wood was also an Etsy find and it adds a bit of that coastal cottage character to the space. We already had the frame TV and I found this really cool company that makes custom frames so now it ties in perfectly with the Louis Philippe mirror. The foundation rug is a custom size for the long and skinny dimensions of this space. I topped it with a hand knotted rug from Serena and Lily. It actually worked out really well to be able to layer the rugs in this space and then get the hand knotted rug in a smaller and more affordable size. I swapped out the smaller olive tree with a seven foot version, which better fits the scale of the cathedral ceilings. I also brought in some of my favorite houseplants since they are a must for any space. And so there you have it, that's our family room. Again, I love this space so much. And it just goes to show you how much you can actually accomplish once you have a plan in place. If you're planning a project anytime soon, I invite you to grab the freebie below, five tips for adding character to a builder grade home. In it, I give some of my favorite inspiration for transforming your home and planning your project. I hope that it helps spark inspiration for you. Until next time.